Hello friends, in this tutorial I used EKTS software to design a ladder diagram for a four floor elevator controller circuit based on the given conditions. A three phase motor moves the car up or down. Two sensors per floor detect car presence and connect to four contactors to monitor the car's position. An emergency sensor EMS at the top ensures safety. Project specifications. Motor cannot move in both directions at once. In automatic mode, Pressing a floor button waits 5 seconds before moving to the requested floor unless already there. In manual mode, the operator uses push buttons to move the car up or down. EMS sensor activation disables upward movement. SENS-1 sensor activation disables downward movement. Let's go through the pre-written ladder relay control program for the project and see how it meets the project requirements. To run the program, I first double click on the pre-written program file to open it and click on the logo to get it disappear. Okay, now to open the program, I click on open icon and then on the file that is written for this project. Now here you see the whole circuit. You see the uh, control circuit on the left and power circuit on the right. And now by clicking on the green icon, I go ahead and run the program. The first line of the program determines if we want to work on manual mode or automatic mode. Okay, I go ahead and run the program. You see that the green triangle changed to a red dot. I go ahead and choose manual mode. By clicking on the manual push button, you see that the control section related to it becomes active. When I tap on key down button, you see that cabin doesn't move because it is already on the first floor and that's the limit. But when I tap on key up, it goes to the second floor. And now, when I tap on key down, again it goes down and finally ends up in the first floor. Now I depress auto push button to place the elevator circuit onto auto mode. Then make a cabin call for the first floor by depressing request one button. Notice that the cabin is already located on the first floor, so the call order is ignored. Then I make a cabin request by depressing request 3 button. Again, after 5 seconds, cabin is moved from first floor to the third floor. Then to the second floor. Then to the third floor.
In the same way, I depress request four button to make the cabin move to the fourth floor. Next, I make a few request call for the third, second, and finally for the first floor. And notice that after five seconds delay, cabin is moved to the third floor. After five seconds to the second floor. And finally, it ends up in the first floor. All right, friends, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. I will catch you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.